What's up everyone? I hope you're all okay. Today I'm going to be testing the Umbro Toco Pro Firm Ground Football Boot. My first pair of Umbro boots in years. The last Umbro pair that I tested was back in the day when we filmed the Mix Master series and I really got on with those boots to be fair, even on an AstroTurf surface. The surface was rock hard, no give, not like this type of pitch. It was more of a sand Astro. I'm going to stick to what I know and just get into some free kicks. Hopefully that will give me a good indication to how the boots perform so I can let you guys know. I've had some bad experiences with new boots recently, unfortunately, obviously, because no one wants to have a new pair of boots and they're not perform how you expect. So hopefully this will be a good run out and a good performance. Let's get into the video. Solid start, we'll take that. Right, I literally can't believe it. My leg's gonna pay off. It's gonna I'll be solid. Oh, mate. Groin niggling. Makes me feel anxious. Is it a case of powering through it or it's just going to wipe me out completely and I won't be able to take any free kicks? Who can relate to this? You're so excited to do a free kick session or football of any sort. You get going, you warm up, you feel good. You take a few free kicks or do a few sprints or whatever you may be doing. And then you feel a little niggle and then you're like, oh, where's that come from? I've warmed up properly. I have no idea what's happened, but basically I've got a niggle in my groin and it's really playing up. I haven't got anything planned coming up, so in my head I'm like, I might as well just power through it. I prepared for it as well, did nothing strenuous the day before, had a relaxing week in terms of exercise, and I'm here now and I'm like, oh, feeling frustrated because this time is very precious to me being here at the pitch. So I'm going to power through, but let me know what you would do and if you've had any similar experiences yourself. So stiff. <laughs> I'm not even putting this on. <laughs> this is how I feel right now. Oh my days. <laughs> I'm finding it hard to celebrate right now. <laughs> Quick update to how the boots are feeling. I really like them because they're a leather boot. They feel very natural when striking the ball. I'm no boot expert, but I will always choose leather boots if possible. I feel like there's something really natural about a leather boot that you can't replicate. However, they're giving me blisters. And that's the old school vibe I feel. I feel like boots these days, you can slip them on and play straight away. Very rarely do you wear boots that take a while to wear in. These boots give me that vibe. I feel like they're gonna be the type of boot that I'm gonna to have to wear five times at least to mold into my foot because they are giving me blisters. But I am enjoying them, that's the thing. So it's a weird one. I feel like after I've properly worn them and given them a good run out, they'll be solid to be fair. Yeah, quality. Struggling to get the height because it hurts when I go on my toes. 
I mean, at the minute, every movement hurts, I can't lie, but the blisters are really impactful when I'm on my toes. So. Prime example there, a good knuckle ball, but it's gone low. If I'm able to approach the ball more naturally, then I'm getting the height before it's getting the top corner. I'm going to call it off there, end on a high. It's been a really weird free kick session, probably the weirdest free kick session I've ever had. I've been really uncomfortable in my boots. I picked up a groin injury and I've scored amazing goals. <laughs> Those are not three things you put together, are they? If you're gonna talk about and think about a free kick session, it tends to go one or two ways. It goes really well or really bad. So the fact that I picked up injuries but had a sick free kick session, it's just bizarre, but anyway, I'm going to take off the boots now and show you how my feet are looking. So this is a warning if you're a bit squeamish. <laughs> I'm squeamish myself, so I probably wouldn't watch this bit. <laughs> oh my God, that's horrendous. Okay, I'm going to show you in a second, guys. So these haven't stayed on, but I put these on in anticipation of these boots rubbing. Look at the state of that. I feel like I've prepared best I could. Two pairs of socks. Oh my days, this one's horrendous as well, Jesus. Look at that, look how sore that is. Oh my days. Quick thing to point out as well, is that these boots retail for 85 pounds, so they're really cheap as well. I would 100% recommend them, but just be wary of the fact that they are gonna take a while to break in. I've worn them for two hours a day and that's the damage so maybe do like half hour at a time if you've got some light training coming up or anything but I've been pleasantly surprised so fair play to Umbro because they've been a solid boot. No real damage as far as durability goes, a few scuffs but that's understandable considering I'm on the 3G here but overall I've enjoyed these today so yeah it's all good. These boots are amazing but they are going to take a long time to wear in. We'll be back in two weeks with a new video, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments down below, and we'll see you next time. Knuckle it.